Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Carl Sketchley, Vice President of Account Management at JSA, and joining me today is Mr. Brian Flynn, President of Extel. Brian, welcome back to JSA TV. Thank you, Carl. It's great to be here. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Um, so, Brian, the last time you were on, Extel was in the midst of helping businesses replace their old POTS lines with cellular LTE. Soon after, you embarked on a campaign addressing the varying technology needs of businesses continuing to manage either a complete work from home or hybrid workforce. Can you tell us a bit more about what you offer in this area? Yeah, absolutely. So we've taken the same communication and network security services that have traditionally been provided to corporate locations, and we've used them to help rethink the home network. Uh, Working from home is now a permanent part of most businesses' organizational structures, which makes it necessary to think of home networks as satellite offices, worthy of the same communication tools and security policies used at the corporate network. So this means that that a work-from-home employee must have the same voice, video, and collaboration tools that they would have, have at the corporate level, at the corporate location, or from any other location. And they must also have the same security policies as well. Um, so Excel works with the businesses to design a plan that works for all employees, regardless of where they are located. Thank you, Brian. Yes. So, I mean, I think that is a brilliant answer. And obviously, you know, work from home became quite popular during the um, highlight of the COVID-19 pandemic, which affected us heavily from 2020, basically through to the end of 2021. But anyways, thanks to obviously mass vaccination programs, um, you know, we all started 2022 with a rather optimistic bend. And then a war happened, a war which has even <clears throat> impacted businesses here in America. Uh, why is that? And what should American businesses uh, be concerned about from your viewpoint? Well, I think the large issues have been well publicized, such as the negative impact on the supply chain, uh, the huge increase in cost of oil and and other raw materials, and just in general, more inflation pervasively. Um, But also the threat of cyber attacks originating from Russia and targeting US businesses, um, that is, there's been a heightened level of sensitivity towards that. I see. So when it comes to cybersecurity, what are some of the blind spots or weak areas today's business leaders have What do they need to be paying attention to? So cybersecurity for a long time, I think has been viewed similarly to an insurance policy where you feel that you're paying to defend against something that may or may not ever occur. And if it does occur, it's not going to occur for a very long time. And I think also many business leaders prefer not to invest in it because they feel they are not a viable target for hackers. Perhaps they think they're too small or they don't have anything worth stealing. Um, but I think recent events seem to indicate otherwise, and it's not a matter of if, but when a business will be attacked. So getting back to the work from home dynamic, hackers always look for the weakest defended entry point into a network, which now oftentimes is an employee's home network. Throughout the pandemic, there's been a huge increase in business insurance claims due to data breaches caused by home networks not being defended properly and being used as a means to infiltrate the corporate network. So business owners should really acknowledge that they need to properly defend their corporate network, but also they need to acknowledge that they need to defend the networks and computers of the remote workers and work from home workers as well. Excellent answer. That's a very interesting viewpoint. So what does Extel offer to support American businesses in this area? Um, in other words, what is Extel's value add here, specifically in a world uh, full of other companies that may also offer various solutions? Yeah, good question. So Extel has a comprehensive telecommunications service offering that can address many, if not all, of the needs of the business. Uh, the key is we customize these services to address the unique challenges that each organization faces. Telecommunications is not a one-size-fits-all proposition. And businesses have uniqueness, and that, that uniqueness could be where they're located, 
where their employees work from, uh, where they want to store their data, how they want their employees to access that data. Um, they are bound by industry-specific compliances, such as HIPAA or PCI. And of course, they must adhere to the expectations of their customers. So because of all this variability, it's essential to understand the needs of the customer and to customize a solution to fulfill them. Um, and that's one of the key differences between Excel and many of, it, many of our competitors. The ability to provide not only that comprehensive set of services, but to do so in a customized fashion. Interesting. So we have customization, and it also sounds like we have a very holistic approach to everything when it comes to cybersecurity, telecommunications, networking, et cetera. Um, so a follow-up question for me, can you explain to our viewers in greater detail why Extel is a company that we should all be watching? Sure. So, you know, I think it's as simple as having the right services and the right approach to providing those services to the end customer. There are many companies that provide UCAS, otherwise known as Unified Communications. Uh, they provide voice services. Many companies provide internet access. Uh, there's many companies that provide network security or DDoS mitigation. And there's companies that provide call center services. But there's not too many companies that provide all of those services and then customize them to meet the end customer's specific and unique needs. Um, that's our advantage. Thank you. Thank you for that answer. Um, so what else is ahead for Xtel over the next quarter? Are there any uh, sneak peeks that you can give us? Yeah, we can talk about a few things. Um, we've recently been able to set up some strategic partnerships with many of the major wireless, wireless carriers uh, in the country. And through these partnerships, we're now able to provide wireless data services uh, directly to businesses. So this can be used for a backup to a primary internet connection, or it even can be used as a primary connection for harder to reach locations or a temporary location. Um, it's an excellent add-on to many of our existing services, such as SD-WAN, and it provides additional flexibility and connectivity options to our customers anywhere in the country. I see. Well, Brian, thank you so much for your time here. Always a pleasure to have you on the show. Uh, and thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. I wish you all happy networking. Mm -hmm.